Hello, I'm now weathering a ship for my Fallout Scavenger. So how I do that is with using renovating polish to start with, and then paper towel and a piece of paper. I've just got like an old docket. So dab just gently into this, just enough to get some on there. Then wiping it onto here. So you're painting this instead of the shirt. And the reason you do this is to get a very, very, very thin layer. If you were to say, scoop out of this and put it onto there, then you just end up with just brown smudges. You completely lose the, the color and the pattern and the texture underneath. If you were to dab it straight from here onto there, you would have the same thing, but in smaller amounts. So by adding another um, like transfer method in between, then you really get that very thin layer um, of like as, as minimum as you can get. So you are painting it to your desired um, weight or whatever, uh, like thickness. And then start rubbing. This is something you keep doing, just keep refreshing the paper. until this gets dry. But the thing with weathering with any kind of layers is you can always add, but you can't subtract. Now this method can also be used for charcoal. So this is just a little piece of charcoal stick and again with the paper and just scrubbing on that. Getting a nice even coat of gray. Charcoal's great for adding grime, just like taking, just making something look like it hasn't been, you know, freshly, you know, out of the washing machine uh, without like actually covering it in dirt. So shake it off, a couple of pats. And really rub it in. You want it to be nearly invisible. Oop, let's get the camera down there. So, what it's come to is we can compare it to just like clean shirt. You know, that's all, you know, nice. And then you have this, which has multiple tones. And it is always my recommendation to do multiple layers of different colors. Like this won't be the only brown and it won't be the only dark I'll use. Um, layers, like ogres have layers, onions have layers, cakes have layers, parfait has layers, and your weathering needs to have layers. If you don't have layers, then you kind of end up looking like a, um, like a dairy cow with just like black and white spots because that's all you're going to get. So you want very, very thin, like almost transparent, or pretty much transparent layers of different colors, all stacked up on top of each other. Because if you are, you know, journeying through the wasteland or, you know, surviving on an island or whatever, um, you're not going to get all your, like, you know, your, your wear, all your battle damage from one source. You're going to bump up against something that's going to dry and rub off. Then you'll, you know, fall into a puddle or, you know, get bumped against something else or get some other stains. There are like thousands of different colors that are going to hit you over time. And they're not going to be massive splotches of just one color. So lots of different layers, build it up, and you have something that looks filthy, but while still having the original color and texture showing. And that's my tip for um, weathering. I hope that helps.